a few years ago I did a video on um, how to make those Jiffy cornmeal muffins without anything except water. And it's gotten thousands of views and I still get thank you, uh, thank you notes from people uh, who've done that, who haven't had anything in the home except some Jiffy cornmeal mix and they were able to cook something for themselves and their family. So I've got this Martha White um, from Dollar Tree banana nut muffin mix and it says just add milk. So I'm just going to add water and we'll see what happens. What I've done in other circumstances is that if I don't have milk, I've added like a tablespoon of butter or margarine to a cup of water. I've melted it in because basically the milk provides fat. So if you put the butter or margarine in there, you have your fat. So I'm going to go ahead and just use water. I've preheated the oven to 400 uh, degrees. I'm going to be using a muffin tin with muffin liners and this and a half a cup of um, of water. Let's open it up. I'm sorry I don't have the overhead anymore. A piece of it broke, so I'm doing everything on the tripod now. This is what it looks like. So I'm going to pour that in. There it is. This looks like little pieces of the uh, nuts in there. Can you see that? And I'm going to add half a cup of water. Now with muffins or quick breads, and they mention this in the um, directions, you really want to just moisten it. You don't want to over mix this or it just doesn't, it doesn't come out. It comes out either rubbery or I don't know, all sorts of terrible things happen. So, oh, it smells good. All right. So here it is. I've done the minimum amount of mixing and I'm going to put it straight into the muffin cups and the muffin tin and into the oven. The instructions say to fill these about two thirds full. So I've got a little measuring cup here, a third of a cup. We'll see what happens where that gets us. Well, that seems to be about right. A third of a cup, uh, a batter fills it up about two thirds. So let's see if I can get six out of this. I might maybe get a little bit more. Not sure. I did not check to see how many muffins this made, but it wouldn't surprise me if it made six just to fill the, the muffin tin. This is um, a Dollar Tree muffin tin. And I'm actually quite pleased with the Dollar Tree uh, baking, baking ware, strangely enough. Um, they fit in my little tiny 20 inch oven and they've held up pretty darn well. All right, so it fits six. Just a little bit of coaxing here with the batter. All right. There we are. Well, they just came out of the oven. About 20 minutes in there, they look pretty good. The uh, knife came out clean, so I'm going to let them sit in the muffin tin for a minute or two, then take them out, let them cool, and we'll see how they turned out. So here they are, after baking and after cooling. So far, so good. There was a little bit of uh, muffin left on the um, inside of the muffin liners. I don't know what would have happened if I put them straight into the uh, muffin, um, the tin muffin pan with maybe some spray oil. I don't know. Sometimes, truthfully, I have to spray these too uh, if I want that stuff to come out clean. So I'm not sure if that's natural here, what happened, or if the lack of um, the little bit of fat that the milk would have uh, provided created that too. I've never made them the regular way, so I don't know what they usually do. The inside looks great, very nice, very fluffy, and I'm going to give it a try right now. Oh my gosh, so good. Light, fluffy, delicious. I think what we can take from this uh, whole experiment is, yes, you can make those Martha White banana nut muffin mix without milk with just water, and you're going to come out with just great muffins. So that's my two cents on how to do things a little cheaper. So there we are. I'm about to have the second half of this because it is so good. And thank you so much for participating in this experiment with me. And thank you so much for watching.